Many people struggle with the idea that they're valuable, that they're worth something, especially after you go through sight loss. But today, I've got a special word of encouragement just for you. What's up VIPs, Derek here, back with another video where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So if you're new here and that sounds good to you, consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. I was reading a Facebook post the other day from somebody and they were talking about how they were struggling through sight loss. It had only been less than a year since they lost their sight and they were wondering about their value. Now that was a very important word when I read this post because they said they weren't sure of their purpose and they weren't sure of their value to their family now. They weren't sure what their worth was to their family. I've got to say that having met with a lot of people over my lifetime and having talked to people about their struggles and their fears and all this sort of thing, one of the big things that comes up is value. Am I valuable to people? Especially when we live in a day and age where you can leave your job and the next day you're replaced immediately and it makes you feel like, wow, did I have any value to this cor corporation or company or not? And then when you lose your sight, especially if you're uh, an active person in your family, you have a job or you're very active, you can feel like I can't do these things the same way or I can't do them at all. And so now my value has decreased. I am not as valuable. Here's the thing I want to point out, however, that your value is not about how much you can see. You would never suggest that a person that has some type of disability is less than valuable. So why is it that we, as visually impaired people who have gone from sighted to visually impaired, why is it that we think we have less value now? Because our sightedness gave us value? No, nobody ever says, oh, thank goodness you're sighted, you have value. Nobody ever says that, and you never thought that until you went through sight loss. And when you go through sight loss, now, now you're struggling with the picture of value. And look, it's very normal. I'm not chastising you for feeling that way. I'm not saying you shouldn't feel that way. I'm not saying that you shouldn't struggle. What I am saying is remember that you have value, not because of the level of vision that you have, but you have what we call intrinsic value. That means from just who you are is valuable. Just you being there is valuable. From the moment you were born, you had value. Nobody looked at that baby and said, well, they can't really do anything. I'll wait till they're about 10 and they can help, you know, do the dishwasher, then they'll have value. Nobody would ever say that. And nobody looks at a baby and says, thank goodness they're sighted. If this baby had been visually impaired, they'd be out. I know it sounds kind of crazy and dumb to think that way, but the point is, why is it that we challenge ourselves after sight loss? We shouldn't do that. We should know that we're valuable. We should know that we still have purpose. Look, again, I get it. I get that we all feel that way from time to time. And please don't think that this is a chastisement that you shouldn't feel that way. This is just an encouragement that when you do feel that way, remember this day you have value. You're valuable to your family. You're valuable to your friends. You're valuable to your work. You're valuable just because of who you are, not because of how much you can or can't see. If you're ever questioning your value on a day, come back and watch this video. Save it to later and come back and watch it again and remember that you are valuable. So my question to you today is, do you ever feel like this? Do you ever go through moments where you feel like my value is gone and I have no value anymore? And if you do, what are some of the things that you think about and how do you overcome it in the long run? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it encouraging, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody you know who really needs it and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. And until next time, remember guys, sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name's Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one.